Hey, my revivers. So I'm so I keep forgetting to when I end the video. I'm so used to saying Lady Gators. If you didn't know, I do have another channel, so the link should be below in the description. But I'm coming to you to tell you the importance of buying books. I I forgot. I got so many books that I forgot to share with you. I got so many videos on this channel that I forgot to share that I, from years ago of things that was on my heart at that time. But I guess it, things happen for a reason. So I guess it'll be the opportune time for me to do those videos and share those videos but books are so important if a book is written and you have the knowledge and the information that book cannot be changed altered or transformed once you have it do you see what i mean so let's say that uh they're trying to hide certain things from you like how to heal your body how to do certain things well if you are buying those books now during this time that you see this crazy habit going on and you're getting into understanding your body and understanding what you need and how God has created everything on this earth to heal you. God has created everything on this earth and you can look it up. Um, it's a, vibe, a Bible verse that says that the basically all the herbs, they changed it now. It says um, vegetation. Same difference, but keyword herbs because herbs are medicinal and they were created for a natural medicinal purpose for healing of everything from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. So just understand that. I am anal about books. I love books. I love, 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 love books. I love reading books. I love touching books. I love writing in books. All of the books that I've read, my grandchildren or great-grandchildren can go back and they can read them. See when I started that book. Why did I buy that book? What made me buy that book? And I take notes in the book. So if something is really important, I'll put VIP or I might put wow, you know what I mean? Because it was something that's new to me. I didn't know. I learned something new. And I'll say what that made me feel like or what it uh, touched on that made me say wow. And so they can get an understanding of my thoughts, my thought process and what I was feeling during the time that I purchased that, my ice water, during the time that I purchased that book. And so... That makes me feel good to be able to leave that to generations to come. Um, libraries are so important. I know they're tangible. Um, and, and just to feel a book and, and, and when you're reading, um, it, it just does something for me. I can't, I can't, no. I could read from a Kindle or an iPad or from a digital device. I can because I can read. But it's not the same. Because sometimes when I'm holding that page and to know that I've read that and I'm going to flip, I've ingested that that I've just read. It's something about a book to me. Let me, let me, did I bring, no, hold on. Let me show y'all my book that I just finished reading. Um, and, and I'm kind of vacationing and doing me. And um, now it's mommy time. So I, my daughter is away for, the, for a couple weeks for the summer. But now it's mommy time. And um so I returned back home. God, guys, we don't been so many places. It has been so beautiful just seeing other parts of the world, other islands and countries and stuff. But um, I needed to come back, refresh and revamp and get videos out because this is my passion. And I had a speaking engagement in New York and it was so mind blowing. And, and listen, when I tell you how people love on you that are not your blood, and, and not your 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 relatives that don't know you meaning like we change and we evolve and a lot of times people keep you in a box or keep a perception of you and it's it's not a good thing it's not a good thing because they'll miss out on the blessings or miss out on how you can be a blessing to them in their life um so learn to love on those that love on you. And when I say that, I say that because um, I had this man come up to me after um, my, my speaking event. And he was literally in tears. He was older than me, uh, um, African-American man. And he shared some things that um, happened to him when he was two. And then right after him, this, um, this Caucasian guy came up to me. And uh, he was, I want to say in his late 20s or somewhere around there and he's like can I like they I when someone says can I hug you when someone says can I'm sorry this went somewhere else but that, that's just how it is for me <laughs> like 
I'm not, yeah, I'm, a, I'm multifaceted. I have a creative mind. And so my mind kind of goes and I speak what, what I'm feeling at that moment that comes out. I don't know why I'm speaking this, but um, it'll all make sense to whatever. I'm just being obedient. When someone comes to you and asks you, can they hug you? Now, you get people that are always going to think negative really quick. Oh, everybody can't touch you. Don't let everybody touch you. There. But when you're protected and you know that you have just went and done, done what you were supposed to do and you were obedient, you are in a protection. Okay? Um, these are people. I am here for people. I am here for the healing of people. Whether you like it or not, whether you like me or not, I could care less. I know what my purpose is. I'm walking in that and I'm getting closer and closer to like literally being in it. Like I'm walking in it, meaning <clears throat> my journey and my steps to being in it. I'm not completely where God needs me to be, but I'm on the journey to get there. Okay, because we all have growing. And I, I I remember when this one lady came up to me, she was gorgeous. She I mean ch I mean deep chocolate brown skin. She was taller than me, and I'm five seven. She was like six something. And she came up to me and she she nudged me. She said, I'm waiting for you. And I was like, okay. And in my brain, I'm like, well, I mean, you don't know me, but she said and she had her hair in like, she was very, very eccentric. And I loved it because I'm, I'm that way as well. And um, so it was like, a, it, it just, it, it felt good, you know? And I was just like, God just told me to tell her. I said, well, whatever you pray for, you about to get your confirmation. And as I spoke, when you can, when you can see Oh gosh, what I tell you, being obedient is amazing. No matter what nobody feels, stay on your road, stay in your lane, stick to your script. People may not understand it, but being obedient, oh my gosh, hold on y'all, is amazing. I, I talked to y'all years ago on my other channel about when I first realized a gift that I had to speak into people's lives. And nobody can't take that from me because these are people that are across the world. I mentor people in other countries. I can tell them what they're going through, what they're feeling and what God told me to tell them. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? A person comes to me and tell me they're waiting for me. I've never met them. Okay. I'm going to tell y'all the story of when I was 12 and, and the prophecy that was placed on my life. Um, but, but let me go back. I was speaking and it was like I said something and it was I was directed to this person. I was directed to that person. And when I tell you the tears that fell from these people's eyes as I walk the room, I don't stand in one place. I walk because my spirit is 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 uh what do you call it? Oh my gosh, it's it's connected in to certain people to say certain things and when I tell you the the round of applause and the claps and the the I need your card and can I talk to you and can I hug you? I need a hug and no one ever told me like that. No one ever told like those are the things that make me say no matter what, no matter what, I am going to continue to be obedient because I know that I am different. I've always been different. And I know that being different and being in your own lane requires some real, real deep, deep understanding of you're going to be alone a lot. And I spoke of this and I'm not talking about a physical. I'm talking about alone and people not being able to understand why you think the way you do, why you move the way you do, why why you are the way you are, a lot of people won't understand it. They won't. I'm not going to say it's anomaly, but it's kind of sort of like that. You get what I mean? It's something like no one can't understand and no don't don't no one don't know how to take you. You know, sometimes people see a picture and they know they are familiar with, but they don't really know you. A lot of times, even your family, they're familiar with you, but they really don't know you. But the ones who take the time to really get to know you and continually communicate with you, they'll see. I'm sorry, I didn't make want to make this that long, but let me grab this book. 